Alright, this step, folks, most of you can skip. I did on the first one. I didn't do this to my first walking stick. On this walking stick, I want to create an illusion that it's all one piece. So what I'm doing is putting a design on my stick. As you can see, it's lined up so it misses the thin part of the sheath. What I've done is used a piece of strap to wrap it around and trace my pattern. I did that all the way up one side. When I went to my other side, I transferred dots to show me where it's going to line up to. This way there's no mistaking and I don't get anything off. I'm just holding it in one hand and tracing it with the other. Now there's no need for me to cut a pattern into this area, I'm going to put grips on here before I'm finished. However, I am going to run it up high enough so it'll go under my grips in both areas. Same thing up here on the cap. I'm going to have a steel cap on here eventually, so I'm just running it high enough to come up under the cap. I'm running it short of the bottom. I'm going to attempt to use this bit, folks. I'm not trying to make it perfect, folks. It's pretty rough, but I want it to look rustic anyway. Not half bad, folks. Use some 180 grit sandpaper just to sand all the handprints, the grease, and the pencil marks off. Now I'm going to grab me a rag and stain this stuff up. Let me use some uh, golden oak, I think it is. Just some stain I had kicking around. I'm going to wipe this on. Once I get it all wiped on, I'll wipe it all back off, and it's going to settle dark in these creases and light on the surface. I'm just going to wipe it off. Start at the end, I first put it on. Well, it's not as dark in the creases as I wanted it, but not bad. Just something to seal it up, that's all I was doing.